Oh, the jury selection has started. Oh, this jury selection has started. Mm. We should talk about this. We should start with this, actually. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we're yeah, the thing, innit? We are live. Whoa, Gwizzle! Salute! What's going on? Welcome to another episode of Cut the Chat. We're late, but the man might even later. So we're waiting for um, Femi and Lee, but myself and, and Damon are here before we just go live now, start talking. There's a lot to talk about this week. <laughs> Why not? There's a Why lot not? To talk about this week. Before we talk uh, about the obvious thing, we were just talking off mic about the fact that if it feels to me that not enough people are talking about the fact that the George Floyd trial starts this week. Well, let me, I, I hear you, yeah. But what is, I mean, even though the trial, is it that big a deal that the trial starts this week? Yes. Like, and, and, and hear me out. Go on. Obviously, it was a big deal for what, you know, it was a big deal, his sad murder. Mm-hmm. It was a big deal that, you know, the black community around the world rallied to, to march and protest. Even up until now, some people are still protesting, you know, which which led to the whole take a knee in football and sports and all of that kind of stuff. Um, so that was extremely important. The fact that the police officers are being taken to court, have been charged and are being taken to court. That's amazing. The fact that the trial starts, uh, I mean, I'm more interested in, in what happened throughout the trial and the, and oh, the yeah, end. Of course, of course. The outcome is obviously the most important thing. But yeah. the fact that we're actually here, we're about here now, mm. that justice is, we're on the verge of justice being served or not served. That's the thing. I and doubt it will be, but in, yeah. In in the occurrence that my man gets off, yeah, because I'll be honest, like obviously all of, we know all of the, the police officers, we were, whoever watched that video, all of them are complicit in what happened. But mm. the guy who had the knee in his neck, Derek Chauvin, he has to go jail. And in the event that he doesn't go jail, this whole what was all of what was the marching for? What was the black squares? What was oh. what was any of it for? I disagree with that because the thing is, yeah, look. Look. Bro, I want justice, bro. I look, want at justice. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, yeah, it, there's, 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 a, there's a process with law in it. Mm-hmm. And somebody said to me the other day, it's not actually law. Yeah, it's, it's, it's about arguing your case. Who had the best argument on the day? Yeah, because there's people that are in jail that really shouldn't be, and there's people that aren't in jail that really should be. It just depends on the argument that you come with on the day, whose argument is strongest. But the process of court and law shouldn't be um, shouldn't be maybe manipulated is the word by protests. Do you know what I mean? So to, oh, no, to, to say that what did we march for if if this guy does not get convicted, we we need to march more. We need to march more, and and not necessarily to get a conviction, but just to show solidarity. Like if he doesn't get convicted, you know me, you know my attitude. I'm not inciting violence or nothing like that. But AC, you know my attitude. I'm telling you, if he doesn't get convicted, burnings will build, but like buildings will burn in America, hundred percent. It just needs to be the right buildings, though. <laughs> it needs to be right. To, well, we're not even promoting that. We're not promoting that. But I'm telling you that buildings will 100 percent burn. Well, then it has 100%. to be the right. It has to be the right ones. And obviously, you know. But is that the man they're trying to get in? No, Lee's in. Uh, Lee, have you got the computer in? No, I. Uh, I feel like I can hear feedback. It's fine. So, um, they're doing, so what's going on, Lee? You right? I'm not too bad. Who, who are you not talking about? So basically, what I was saying it was like. Yeah, it's all gonna work that we're all talking about Megan, Harry, Piers Morgan. But I feel oh, like yeah. no, I feel like no one's talking about the fact that the, the George Floyd trial starts this week. Oh see. Like it's, you see, you see, like you didn't, didn't even know, know that. Do you know what I'm saying? So I just feel like that is something that we should have we should be watching that. All of us should be watching that. Like, okay, the Harry, Harry we'll get to Harry and Megan and Piers Morgan or whatever. 
But I feel like we, I just feel like the fact that this trial starts this week is something that we should really all have our eyes on. And Damon said that they're, the, just, they're doing the, the jury selection now. Oh, is it? Is the guy that's been, um, was he, or was he remanded all this time or was he out? Well, I think one of them was out on bail, right? But I don't think this one... I don't know. One of them was... Rem- I'm the, not sure. The guy that done the kneel, the, the guy that put his knee on his, on his neck, did he get remanded in, in custody? Do we know? I'm not sure. I can't tell you. I couldn't be honest with that and tell you that 100%. That's crazy, man. See, see jury selection, yeah? Yeah. Do you think they... Is it going to benefit him more? Obviously, it'll, it'll benefit him... Do you think it'll benefit him more if he had an all-white jury? Oh, 100%. Benefit him, even even no wait wait even in yeah. this time and climate right now, Ace. it would just you know be what? so you know bait that like it would just be Ace. too Ace. 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 Yeah. Do you know? Did you see on the news on, on social media the mm. six people that got handcuffed face down on the cold pavement for over two hours, and a, and a couple of them were like children, six year old children. This was the other day. This was the other day for over two hours, handcuffed, face down on the floor. Yeah. There was a guy the other day that got arrested and tasered for walking into a shop. And I think it was buying a scooter or a push bike for his daughter or for his child. Yeah. Like he purchased it with receipt and everything. Someone called the police, arrested and, and tasered. And he's there like, what did I do? This is happening now. Like, so you can say in big 2020, the reality is we say this, we've been saying this since 1990. What in 1991? No, this is I'm more so, no, I'm more so mean like the trickery of the justice system. Like, see, like, all right, so like. But we, but we know how it goes down, Ace, though. You know, remember they, when they start using that word, you the jury have to believe. Without reasonable doubt, without reasonable doubt that he hey, meant to do to what he said. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, 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 he yeah. had to. They, they, He's not going to. Gonna, some, Thomas, his lawyer's going to stand up and say he felt threatened. He felt that he felt this way. He's going to he get manslaughter. Listen, I'll be watching how to get away with murder. You know. He's and gonna get manslaughter, he, isn't it? And if he's got that black woman in his corner, <laughs> he's in a bus case. He's gonna get manslaughter, isn't it? He's gonna get manslaughter. He's not gonna get murder. What do you think? It's gonna get, it, 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 it will definitely go down to man. I, I think the charges will go down. So what is it like a second degree murder at the moment, isn't it? I don't think he's gonna get murder because he's just gonna argue that I didn't like. Yeah. I didn't mean to murder him. And yeah. How can, I, I how can you murder. how can you argue? I don't know. I don't know, man. I right. So apparently, the, the 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 main the main police officer, his bail was posted at three quarters of a million. Um. Wow. So he was out. That's from Nick. I mean, him. it is it is just down to the argument, and it is it is about proving, you know, it's like we've over here with the police over here. It's like, you know, the policeman's argument, or it might even be the police police's argument all over the world. What do you in fear of your life? How can somebody tell you what your fear level is? Yeah, well talk. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. So, but now somebody has to match up uh your actions. Were your actions justified based on your personal uh, feeling or fear or endangerment? Do you know what I mean? Mm. So if my man turns around and says, listen, he was a big guy. I felt that I had to keep him there, had to keep my knee on his neck for my safety and the safety of the public. Why? What, 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 what threat did he cause to the public? Well, you know... He was saying certain things. Or can you? Yeah, you know I mean, it's just it's it's just the, the, the whoever's argument. Do you remember like Mangrove? The, yeah, the Mangrove yeah, program. Yeah. It's that, bro. It's that. It's it's the, it's the exact same thing. It will be very interesting to see how this plays out. And yeah, I just think they're going to make it look like me oh. trying to, de- to detain you, Ace. That's mm. how they're going to try and make it look. Me trying to detain someone like you. What are, what are my chances? You had to do whatever and if, you had and to do. If the, you, you get what I'm saying? And the mm. jury would be like, well, boy, he, he had no he had no chance. This is the only way. You get what I'm saying? Only because, and it's sad that we see this, but we've seen it play out so many times. We've watched the movies. We've read you the know, books. You know what's funny about this? And it's it, the thought just come to my head here. So at some point, you two, are, I, I would have aced less, but football, yeah? We all support a football team, whether we go to the football matches or not. 
Lee, I've been to a couple of football matches with you where you've been in the box. You've had the opportunity to sit in a box. And obviously, I just so happen to be sitting below you with a bit of better viewing advantage. But, you know, you was in the box, as you say. Um, but, you know, this year, especially this whole thing of, of VAR. Yeah, VAR is supposed to help the game and, and, you know, point out where things that the referee hasn't seen and, and mistakes that the referees made. And this season especially, it's been a shambles. You know, and that's football. That's offside. That's was it handball. Yeah, you've got... Because they talk about VAR like it's a computer. It's a man. Tonight's game, yeah, VAR yeah. is ace. It's ace. It's <laughs> the work in the TV. Yeah. yeah. So what you're telling me is between the referee, the linesman... And the man that's watching the TV that can rewind it, rotate the camera, look at all different angles, all three of these people can't even get a simple decision as was that handball or not. So when you're talking about law and in the court of law and, and, and people, you know, what evidence have you got and this and that and that, I, it's, it's a tricky one. It is a tricky one. We know what should happen. We blatantly know what should happen, but will it? Who knows? All right, listen, we'll keep our eyes and ears on that. Um, obviously, we're going to talk about Meghan and Harry and Piers Morgan. I want to wait for Femi to come, though. But before yeah. we do that, yeah, something to lead into this is because I've been seeing loads of clips of Piers Morgan. Obviously, we, like, we know it's been going on. Piers Morgan has now um, left GMTV, which is great, great news. <clears throat> but I've been seeing loads of early clips of Piers Morgan talking about his early relationship with... Megan Markle. Megan Markle. <laughs> yeah. And so, like, he's putting, like, all of these clips together and it seems like she, whatever happened between them really burned his skin. <laughs> that re It really stung that he got locked off and then she went and married Prince Harry. So what I would like to ask you, man, like, let's all be safe. This is a safe space. The, the, cut, the, the cut the chat listeners are here. We're all in relationships, it is what it is. And the truth is, our partners are probably listening to this right now, but we're just going to be honest, yeah? Has a woman ever hurt you like that? Where it's like, uh, revenge, like, I hate her. And <laughs> David, David's face is making me laugh. <laughs> yeah. No, to be fair. Has, to be has, fair. The, cause he, cause the thing is, like, I watched them old videos of him talking about Oh yeah, we were friends and da, da, da. And then you watch the new videos. Like he is in re like when you really feel, listen, watch it. He is really burning. Like this is not normal. He is fuming. Something fuming. happened. Fuming. And, and my, you know my, 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 my second question he is: to, he, he tried to move in. He tried to move in on it. Do you he think something actually happened? Something possibly. Hundred percent. A hundred percent. I think he saw a green light. He saw mm. a green light. He put her in a cab, and he thought, you know what? Yeah, this might be going somewhere. I'm looking to leave the wife. I'm looking to start again. I'm doing my little thing. And he's probably weighed out the option. And then she completely gone. And he's thinking, what? You know that man there? You see that man there? Their man are wicked, you know? Their man there. Um, we're, we're, we're petty. They're, these men are they're on the next level. These right. are the man that in school, you just couldn't do nothing to. And you didn't know why. Maybe they was, they, they, their dad was the teacher or something like that. Do you get what I'm saying? Or their dad was the head teacher. He's one of those guys. Do you get what I'm saying? But there's no way, there's no way, there must, there's definitely something behind it because no, he's coming on that no. show every morning. Every morning. And I know that, no. I know Lee, that feeling, bro. I happened. would do the same thing. Lee, I'm going to tell you what happened. Thing. I'm going to tell you what happened. They went on a little, I don't know if you, even if you can call it a date. This is what I think happened. They've got on maybe a date or whatever, whatever you call it. Had a few drinks. Yeah, man spent a bit of pee. And then she said, all right, cool. I'm, I'm going now, yeah? He's like, oh, can I see you again? She's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, shout me, innit? Like, obviously, I had fun. We can do this again. Yeah? He's like, yeah. He's then put her in a cab, yeah? He's put her in a cab. Now, he's put her in a cab thinking that he sent her home. He's now. No, he didn't. He, he didn't. He knew. He knew. He knew. Listen, he he no, knew. Lee, no. He goes, he, Lee. He's put her in a cab, thinking that he sent her home. 
He's now on the WhatsApp group chat with the man them talking about, oi, I bagged the hot thing. Yeah? This is her. You remember you that, that thing from Suits? Blood? See that thing from Suits? Yeah. That's me, fam. That's, That's me, guys. Yeah. That's me. Obviously, man, lipstick. You know the man there that just lie. Obviously, but man, lying. the thing. Yeah? Not another gossip. Now, this is the thing. As he is talking about his date and said, yeah, man, lipstick. Sent her own minutes. She said that she's got work in the morning, so she has to go home early. Somebody in the group chat is te- sent him a picture. What? What this thing here? Who's in the rave? Yeah, lipsing Harry. Lipsing up Harry. You understand? So obviously he t- t- boasting to the man. they like, yeah, lipsed up the thing. Sent her home. We're gonna link up tomorrow. All now she's skinning out, dirty whining. Yeah, with mm. Harry in the, in the corner. Yeah, scrubs him down the wall in the corner. He's vexed, he's upset, he's just been made a mockery in his man them group chat. Yeah. And that's what it is, he's burning. He's burning. You know what it is as well? Because he said he's, he said she cut me off, yeah. That's how, what I'm saying. How do you cut someone off? She probably blocked him, bro. Do you know what that yes. do you know that yes. feeling? <laughs> she he probably like, went to to dial her number and it was yes. couldn't get through. She, she you know fully blocked him. You know what makes it worse? I'm going to tell you what makes it worse. You see the next day, yeah, where she hasn't linked him for the second day. He's with the mandem now. The mandem are, are just chatting shit to him like, bro, you're just a gasser. You're chatting shit. You weren't out with her. You don't even know her. My man, I bet my man's on some. Yes, I'd be what? I've got a number. I'm going to call her now. <laughs> <laughs> the number you are calling cannot be recognised. Yeah? He's, he's getting all of that. Right. She's like, no, look, she's following me on Twitter. No, she ain't following you on Twitter, bro. You understand? Go on WhatsApp. Go on WhatsApp. There's no picture. Nothing. Nope. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's pain. He's in. He's in. No. He's in real pain. He's in real pain. Mm. He needs a hug, man. He walked no. off his own TV show this morning. Who That's does that? Hilarious. That's did he actually? I, I, I didn't. I, wait. I saw clips. I didn't see the whole hey, thing, but I heard that wait, he said something about her mental health. Hey, hold on, Lee. Ace, what did he say? He walked up with his own TV show today. Yeah. Who does that? Yeah. Oh, I, I, I don't know what kind of people would walk away from their own their their own thing. And I don't know what you're talking them, about. Yeah. I have no idea what you're talking about. Take themselves out of like WhatsApp chat groups and that. Talking about, I mean, yeah. he does that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lee. <laughs> Lee, Lee's, Lee is notorious for leaving the WhatsApp group. <laughs> you might not taking a piss. I'm glad you're going to do Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> sometimes you sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And he said live on TV, but apparently he made remarks about her mental health. She when he said that she was lying. He said something about she. Yeah, I don't know she, if this is true. I saw a comment. He, yeah, she he, said, he she, said that she was lying. In, in the interview, she said that she was she was suicidal and she went to somebody. Yeah, like, she had suicidal thoughts. Yeah, yeah. And, he's, and he more or less said that she was lying. Mm. Like, how can you that, tell? How, how can, can you? Who do you think you are that you think that you can come on TV and say that? No, this is it. This is, this is back that one. That one there, I can't even back you with that one. This is exactly thing is, when he, this is what he does. This you know what I've been doing? Do you, do you know what I've been doing though? I would look at I, what I do now. He posts here, and I look at all this. Lee's Wi-Fi. <sighs> this is the ongoing, bro. Your Wi-Fi, bro. Look at him. Look, look at the frozen. Look, look at him. Look, <laughs> look, how <he's> <laughs> look how he's frozen. Look how he's frozen. Look how he's frozen. Somebody screen capture this right now. Someone right now, please. Right now. Take a picture of that. That Lee's is face. so funny. That is so funny. He's gone, look. This guy. Um, this guy. Yeah. P- the truth is, Piz Morgan is hurt. P- is he married? He's married as well, isn't it? I don't know. I don't know. I've got no idea. Someone in the chat, let us know if, he, if he's married. Because like, how does your wife feel that you're just going in on a young, like on a, on a woman every day at work because she blocked you? On, in, on Twitter and what's Bro, up? do you know what's funny? Yeah, it, it, it got ridiculous because even even that other radio station, can we name radio stations? Can we hot them up? Yeah, go to. You see LBC, yeah, because it got to the point where I, I was tired of listening to music on the way to work in the morning. And I was listening to LBC and that guy, uh, what is his name? What is his name? Um, what time is he on? About six in the morning. Nick Ferrari? No, before that. Oh, he's I don't old, know. Him. 
He's like, oh, and he's just getting in. He just sounds gay. He's just like an old kind of like he's like he sounds yeah. gay. I don't know if he's gay or not, but he sounds like a yeah. gay guy. He's, he's very he's funny. Gay. He's quite funny. Nick, uh, no, not Nick. Steve Allen. Steve, Steve Allen. Allen. There you go. Yeah. Steve Allen. Yes, yeah. so I listen to Steve Allen, and he, he just gets at everyone from uh, the the girl from anyone from Tawi, anyone from any celebrity that he doesn't feel is is worthy of being a celebrity. Mm. But every single day, he's saying something about Megan took Harry away, and this is Megan's fault, and this and that and that. And it, it, it just got to the point where as soon as I hear him mention Harry or Meghan, he's got to lock it off. Lock it off. Like, like, I haven't listened to LBC. Like, I think I'm done with them. Okay? It's just, I'm just done with them. I'm, I'm done. I just can't hear it. I just can't be hearing. And these people talk, yeah, like they know them. Trust they me. They talk. They're talking like, oh, yeah, she's a horrible person. Yeah, she's a horrible. Nah, they, 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 the Queen wouldn't have done that. No, nah, they wouldn't have said that. Like, fam, do you yeah, know really? these people? <laughs> what? Because she's on your money. You think you know her, fam? Bro. No one knows. No, like no one knows. No yeah. one. We don't know no one. I'm not vouching for any of these people. I'm sorry. I'm not even vouching for. I'm not even vouching for Meghan Markle. We don't know. The truth is, we don't know. No one knows. We just take her story. We take their stories. It is what it no is. Like, that's, you can't, that's, like that's, that's what, what people were saying. People were saying, "Oh, she's an actress here." Yeah? And I was looking at her. And in the interview, certain times in the interview, I thought, "If you're acting, this is the part that you're acting." <laughs> there were certain parts that I've looked up if you're acting yeah. this is the part you're acting yeah. the reality yeah. is if she's acting I really don't care I, I couldn't care less mm. yeah because whether she's acting or not I don't disbelieve what she said you know you know when children yeah you know when children tell on their siblings it's bare drama the pain that they're feeling at that moment is the worst pain in the world but that's what they've got to do to get their point across to make you believe what they're saying. Yeah. At no point, if it was just an interview with Meghan Markle on her own, maybe people might have a little angle to be like, oh, I don't necessarily believe it. You don't have to believe anyone. There's no law that says you have to believe somebody. But the fact that Harry landed, yeah. The fact that Harry landed and said, listen, yeah. She ain't lying. She ain't lying. <laughs> she ain't lying. The she, people them yeah. ask me certain questions, and it is. And what I loved about that interview, we're not going to get too deep into it, but it's just when my mum was like, "My dad and my brother are trapped." <laughs> Said they're trapped. They're stuck. They're in it. They're stuck. Mm-hmm. But we'll we'll get into that when. So even back to the race, even even back to the thing about if she's lying. Even if, let's just say let's just say she is lying. Let's just say mm. she is lying. Right? Let's say even if she is lying, have we not seen ourselves racism towards her? We've seen it. So yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, even yeah, if yeah, she's yeah. lying about everything that yeah, she's yeah, gone yeah. through, yeah, we've yeah. actually witnessed yeah. a man calling her child a monkey. We've seen yeah. all these things. You know what I mean, we've yeah. seen. Yeah, 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 yeah. What are you talking about? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You're right. You're right. And we've seen it ourselves. Of, we've seen it ourselves. Ourselves, we have seen the royal family do nothing to defend her or the the unborn baby, the royal child. They've done. They we've seen them do. And I like that part of the interview where she was like, "You don't have to come out and back me. You don't even have to come out and tell my story. But I tell the truth in it. <laughs> like, just tell them that that didn't happen. You don't need to tell them." who really done it or who it really happened to, just tell them that didn't happen. <laughs> You're not even doing that. Nah, that's, that's deep. That's when you really see people people's intentions. You know, that's like, that's like going back to this whole sibling thing, your brother knowing that you didn't do that, the, the fuckery that your parents are giving you licks for. And you're looking at your brother like, no, but bro. <laughs> and your brother's like, your, your brother isn't saying yes, he did it. Mm. But your brother's just, Boy, <laughs> boy. You know what? Though? I I don't want to. I don't. I think I'm done with them now, though. Not in a bad way. I just feel like they should just they should step away from the the light now. Like, I don't want to see no more interviews or documentary or nothing like that. I think who's just, them? Like, Megan and Harry. Or yeah, let's just leave it. Let's just let them leave it. Let's leave it be now. Leave it out. Um, leave it out, right? Oprah. Yeah. Oh, hello, hello, mate. How's it going? I just got a text from Hackney. I don't know how Hackney got my number and they said that the Wi-Fi is bad in the area. 
I was like, what? Hack- what is this? Just hack me text you. Yeah, I got yeah, it said, look, I got a text, I don't even get text messages. And then this text message saying that the Wi-Fi is down in your area. Yeah. It's saying that um hold on, <laughs> let me show you. I can't see it, bro. Oh yeah, for real. But yeah, I got a message saying that the Wi-Fi is bad in your area. That's terrible. Where's Femi? That's it, that's it. Femi's not coming Sorry. in. More time Femi's if not- it's it's the 9.30, Femi's not coming. I lent Femi my Zoom account deals and I've just seen bears. I've seen bear Zoom meetings <laughs> on, my, <Hit> it. <laughs> on my account. <laughs> I was going to pull him up today, big up to Femi. Yeah, what man, are you man but- saying? So what are you man saying about that? Um, are we still on the, on the topic or are we moving on? No, I'm just, we're just saying, like, I'm just saying, I, I think now, like, they've, she's done a big Oprah interview. There doesn't really need anything else we want to do. I just think if they re- if she really is really about this private life, then be private. Go away, do your thing. See, like, nah, I'm not, I'm not happy with that. Wow. I'm not happy with that. Because that's, that's, that's wrong and that's rude. Because they're not saying, yeah, because I don't, I don't think there's a celebrity out here that hasn't complained about how intrusive the media are. Mm-hmm. I think what their their argument is, don't lie. Let us let us live in it. Like just dress back. Let us live, and it, and it's, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because can you tell me how much I should photograph you? Because when you want us to take photos, then you're going to be like, "Yo, where are you, man?" But then there has to be some media. There has to be some. You know, some conversation. They need the media. They need the media. They need the media as much as they don't want the media. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's a bit of a conflict of interest for uh, them to say you can't tell them back off. No, but I, no, but I think you can though. I think you can. Like, like, look, at the end of the day, if it's the thing where I'm walking out of my house or walking out of a hotel and I'm about to get in the car with my wife, who is seven months pregnant, eight months pregnant, and you lot are bare camera flashes in the face and jostling and pushing and this and that and that. It, 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 it's quite daunting and very aggressive. Do you know what I mean? So I think, if, you know, it's not too much to ask to be like, yo... But it's not illegal, though. It's not illegal, though, D. That's no the one's point. saying it's not illegal. But then at some point, the, the, your human side has to kick in and be like, all right, you know what? Like, all right. Bro, you have you seen some of these interviews when, when when they're trying to get someone's attention? They they're racist. They say things. They throw things at them to get their they get them to bite. They, it's been Absolutely. that's something's been going that's something's been going on, isn't it? So I can't see that happening. And, like you and, said, otherwise and, you're gonna have to paint a different different dem- this demographic. Thing, this, is, this is the other thing as well. Yeah, you see what them are saying. See what them are saying. Low it. Yeah, louder bullshit in it. See if you want to write stories, write stories in it. I don't write bullshit. Like you, you, bro. Like, and as a man, yeah, you're gonna turn around and you'll be like, hold on, wait. So my sister, you're talking about how radiant she looks whilst eating grapes. But my wife, you're talking about why she's forever eating grapes. Do you know what I mean? Like, like I'm, I'm just making shit up. Factual things, the belly. Yeah. What's her name? What's her name? What's the other one's name? Kate. Kate looks so radiant, stroking her baby bump. Megan does the same thing. Megan can't keep her hands off of her baby. Nah, you are taking a piss. Like that's the yeah. kind of shit that my man's like. Nah, allow it, get it. You're 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 taking the piss. Allow it. People people, people people buying it though, isn't it? People buy What's it. The reason? People buying it. With, with, with her in these earrings that that weren't even actually given to her. They were given to the queen to be given to her. They're not trying to draw it down. Like look at her wearing her. Her um her her earrings, you know, gifted to her from terrorist or murderer or whatever it is. But it's like, what? What are, what really? Like, like, come on. Like you man are reaching every day, bro. Nah, you know what though? You, you know what though? She said she said that in the interview that she ain't been in her house for four months. That's long. If she'd have known that you were signed up for that, that whole lifestyle don't even seem that that great, you know. That's long. Nah, she would have. I think she would have still done it. I think she would have. You think so? It. Yeah. He was a jam in the yard for four 100%. months. I know the yard's massive. I think she would have still done like it. The big like Chesterton, but that's long, blood. Yeah, I know Three, she was four like four months at a time. Nah, I think she would have still done it. again. I know she was an actress, yeah, but she wasn't like Scarlett Johansson, bro. Like she's not like she wasn't. She's not top tier Hollywood. She was on. She was on a, a small show. She would have definitely still done it, bro. 
Uh, it wasn't to marry the prince, a prince of England. Yeah, but, yeah, come on, bro. Yeah, but, yeah, but come on. Under, under the term, she was still young. She still budding. She still could have made it something. She still could have believed in her dream, innit? So you, you think if she, if she could do it again, she wouldn't. She wouldn't go. She wouldn't go there. I, I just think. I just think. What's the point? <laughs> what is the point? That life don't even look. Bro, she's set for me. life, bro. She's she's married to Prince Harry. You know bro. what? You, you know what? You know there's you other, there's other, <laughs> you know there's other royals there. Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. even see what I'm going, What they're on. What they're in. They're just drinking tea, enjoying, outrageous, suits, everything. And <laughs> they still get the security as well. They still right. get security that, as well. You know, they do their point. thing. That's their point, bro. Do you know how deep that is, fam? He he That's set mad. up the Invictus Games, yeah. He set up the Invictus. They took that away from him. They, I swear, they've taken away his his war stuff, his army stuff. Yeah, they stripped him of all of that. And my man turned around and said, "All right, listen. So you lot are trying to rewrite the rule book because I'm having a baby with this this black girl. You lot are really trying to rewrite what's allowed and what's." You lot are taking away man's security. And I like it when man said, so has the threat level reduced? <laughs> no, because it's the same. <laughs> You're taking a piss. You're taking the piss. Ah, fuck off. How, fuck Wait, what do you, what, what, what Go do you get, get the Crips to protect you, innit? Get the Crips <laughs> or the Bloods. Go and get, <laughs> Go get the Crips or the Bloods. <laughs> <laughs> when they first saw it, they were like, oh, it's just a phase. It'll pass over. Get it. And then they saw the nun, they, they saw the mum's dreads, and they were like, "Oh shit, this thing is real." Rastafari is here. You get me? Things change when they saw the when they saw the dreadlocks. They knew what time it was, boy. They knew what time it we, was. We we up in that shit now. We up in that shit. I mean, there's a lot of things. I, there's a lot of things that I don't think anyone could have expected. But and and also, you can't even get briefed on it. Do you know what I mean? Like. When she talked about meeting the Queen for the first time and Harry said to her, yeah, oh, yeah listen, we're going to go meet my grand quickly. Yeah. You see us. You know what that means to us? That means that we're on road <laughs> and we're going to swing past grannies and now we're looking at our trainers talking about are they clean? Mm. Yeah. And has man had a haircut? Mm. Harry said to her, she said, all right, cool, let's, let's go in it. Harry said, do you know how to curtsy? She's like, what? Yeah, do you know how to catch it? Man, she's like, fuck, we're, we're going to the yard. We're going to be her in, the, in, the, in round back, round back. No one's going to see. Harry said, are you mad? <laughs> are you mad? Imagine. Oh, to be me. fair, I'm going to no, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know where man come my yard? Oh, believe me. You, you had to go in the living room. Mm-hmm. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can you hear you. go in the living room. I say, hello, Mr. Basil. How are you? How is your day? You have to come correct. You just can't come in the yard. You come not correct. Cu- not courtesy, though. More or less, when I see on my mum basically on one knee, I'm yeah. talking about showing her utmost respect. I see certain man bow. I swear, where's Femi at? Where's Femi? He's a good year, convenient, he's not here. I've got a brethren called Emmanuel. I saw, my brethren called Emmanuel, he got caught, he got stopped on road. My man had to get down on, you know, to pull... Lee, fam. Lee, man, you gotta use your, um, your data. Your data, my G. 5G, did, that bomb. Can you not hear me? You yeah, it cut out. It cut out at the good part. Five G tower. It cut out. I mean, I I love I love how honest the interview was and things that they spoke about and you know, like it wasn't it wasn't just bashing the queen and bashing the royal family, which is is, is what I liked a lot about it. Um, you know, can I just say this as a, as a broadcaster, Oprah is elite fam. She is the best. For, like, there's been times when I've tried to hate on Oprah, but she is fam. Yeah. Nah, that's 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 what I'm thriving for, bro. Like, I've always, I've people always ask me like, who are the top three people you want to interview? And I always say, I've actually like some of them I've already ticked off the list, but Prince Harry's always been on my list. I over, yeah, yeah. I want to do the mandem interview of Prince Harry, not the one that we've just seen, and not even about. Yeah. I want to do more so like I want to know about the man named Prince Harry but she was just wicked man that was I feel like I learned so much just what she's yeah, yeah. she deserves everything she's got salute to absolutely. Oprah absolutely and the best absolutely 100% 100% 100% I mean he's next for Piers Morgan what's next for him yeah do you know what I think I think whatever's next for him whoever whoever hires him next you we'll just highlight. 
maybe how racist they are, maybe how prejudiced they are, maybe how how. Nah, I don't. I don't agree. Well, look, I feel like a company is, like Netflix would pick up Piers Morgan and do like. But this is the thing, though. This a is series the with him because mm. I don't think he walked off of Good Morning Britain because of him attacking Megan for all his time. He walked off of Good Morning Britain because they couldn't fuck with him no more simply because him questioning her mental health. And I think uh, Mind Mind is a major sponsor of. Yeah, you know I mean, mm. so obviously they're looking at you like, how have you got this guy working for you? Mm. And so I don't think it was anything to do with Megan. I don't think it's anything to do with any racism stuff because he's been this guy. I was surprised when they hired him in the first place, to be honest mm-hmm. with you. You know, and, and, and somebody said to me a couple of weeks ago, do I think Piers Morgan is, is racist? So I said, yes. They go, no, but he's, he's always defending this and he's always defending that and he's calling this and calling this out and calling that out. I said, okay. I said, if you beat me, yeah, for 23 hours of the day and forced me to pick cotton for 23 hours of the day, and then for the 24th hour, you give me cake and custard and ice cream, what does that mean? You're not, what, does that mean you're not racist? Because you know what, though? I, I'm going to disagree with you. I, don't, I actually don't you're think Piz Morgan, I don't think Piz Morgan is, is racist. He's racist. Mad. You're I mad. genuinely feel like he's just been stung. I just feel like he's hurt. What? I feel like he's so, butt hurt, bro. I'm wait, telling wait, wait. you. I don't think he's racist because of this Meghan Markle thing, you know? No, I I've said, like, we like, like, you know what? Piers Morgan, no. he's, let me tell you what it is. Piers Morgan is a very privileged white man. He doesn't understand a lot of things from our community. He doesn't okay. understand the culture. There's so many things he doesn't understand. Like, okay. he's very, he's ignorant to a lot of things. He said, he has, he has said some things that we could possibly could be considered racist. I don't, do I think he hates black people? No. That's not racism. Do I, do racism I think he racism hates, racism. Me, wait, wait, do racism I think he hates, me, you hate black people. wait, 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 do I think he, do I think he dislikes Meghan Markle because she's black? No. I think he dislikes her because he lo- he's in love with her. I okay. think, I don't, I don't, I don't, nec- think I don't necessarily he think he's racist. <laughs> what? Nah, do you know what, Ace? I, I, he, wait, hold on, I, Lee, I, Lee. Okay. Yeah, oh, go on. People in the chat group are saying they 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 agree with Ace. I don't think I don't think he's I don't necessarily think he's racist. I think he's just an ignorant, privileged person that acts like they and especially like because he's so privileged, he he tries to speak on things he has no idea about. That's, so when and that's what about, he when he's talking about stop and search and all these like bruv, you've you've got no yeah, yeah, you've got no place yeah, to talk yeah. about these things. These are things that are yeah. never gonna affect you. So when he, we hear us hear him talking about it. We know about it and we hear him talking about it like he knows. We think, no, nah, that's racist. It's not racist. He's just ignorant and he's just like privileged. The but, mega market but, but, is not about race, bro. But, hey, he is but hey, her. Scary thing is, mm. the scary thing is though, he's in a position of power and he controls 100%. the narrative on on the on on in in, in news. So it's like mm. when he does say things, be the, the 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 majority that don't know nothing, they think it's gospel as well. So they think, oh yeah, I can say it, but you can't say them things. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. The things that, that he talks about, he shouldn't be talking about. So why are you, how, why are you on morning millions of people listening to you thinking that you are the messiah? You're meant, to be, you're meant to be be neutral the whole way. Like, you shouldn't have an opinion. He is sitting there, like, in the middle, you know? Have you heard him sometimes, the way he talks to Susan? Yeah. I'm like, don't talk to her like that. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? He's like, hold on. I'm like, blood. You can't talk to you can't talk to someone like that nowadays. Yeah. Had make that make, make that be a black woman, he would have got blast a long time ago. I'm sorry. But does that make I'm him sorry, racist though? Does it, but Lee, does that make him racist? That's my point. It, it doesn't make him racist, but I just think that he shouldn't he shouldn't have that much power. It's, mm. it's the fact that he's given that much power, like I said, he's, he's playing the flute and everyone's following. Do you get what I'm saying? Sometimes I've listened to him talk and I thought, oh, that makes sense. I'm not thinking all right. straight though. All right. I'm just, all right. All right. Do you get what I'm saying? Ace, Ace do you think Danny Baker's racist? Yeah, I think that was a racist. What he said was racist. I so didn't ask you that. I said, do you think he's racist? Yes, you made a racist comment. So yes, you're racist. He's a racist. Okay. Actually, okay. I don't even know what I'm allowed would, to would, say. I'm have to cut this hey, out of hey, the, hey, the, hey, I'm hey, have to cut this out of the, uh, of the hey, podcast. Yeah, cut that out. Cut that out. Hey, Ace, hey, would Piers would Piers be happy if he's if... Carly? Anyway, um... <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> What did you say? I, want, I actually want to hear what you said. Would Piers be happy if what? You, if, 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 say, a black man married his daughter. 
Do you know what? I don't know if he. I don't know if he. He. I feel like if it, it was the kind of black man that he liked, I don't think he would mind. He would what mind. What are you talking about? Hey? What, do you, no. what, what do you mean? What, what kind of man? Does let me explain. Mean, let me explain. Let me explain. No, no. Let me. Let me explain. Let me explain. I'm saying like everyone has got a. Everybody has got a t- the type of person they want their their daughter to marry. I like. So if this person ticks all the criteria, no. whether they're black or white, I'm sure he'll be fine with no, it. No, that's not what you said. That's not what you you said. Yeah. In answer to Lee's question, you said if it's the type of black man that he... What type? Yes, there's... What type? Bruv, on, in cut the chat, there are four different types of black men. There's a okay. dread, there's a DJ, there's a taxi man, there's a filmmaker. If it, Maybe he doesn't like dreads. Maybe he doesn't like taxi man. Maybe he likes DJs. I'm saying if it's the what? type of why, black why man he likes, man? Why then we'll be calling it. What? What? Why can't I be a jokes man? Why Whatever. Jokes My point is... <laughs> <laughs> My point is, if it's the type of man he likes, I'm not. I'm not like. I'm saying, if it's the type of black, like whether he has got the criteria, the credentials to date my daughter, I I think he'd be fine with it. Like, and again, knowing peers, that's gonna be like bare things that he's gonna have to tick off. He probably has to make a certain amount of money. Probably has to have a certain certain type of job. Come from a certain school. Have certain qualifications. But if he was black and he had all of those things, I don't think he would mind. Is my point. But if he's like. I'm sure he doesn't want to, he wouldn't want his daughter with a road man. Or, do you know what I'm saying? Or a, a driller. I don't know. I'm just saying. So that's what I mean by a type of black man. Because there are, we are not, we are not just one dimensional, bro. Like, I am not the same as you. I'm not the same as Lee. I'm not the same as Femi. You know what, no, we're all you different types though? of people. You know what's funny, though? Hmm? We are cuts. No, we're not. But the, we're but not. The majority, but to the majority, we are, though. We are. Real, though. And that's to the, the majority. And that's the, the problem. Same. So no one's going to turn around and say, ah, oh, I don't mind if they're like this or if they're like that. And once you nah, bro, no, because we don't, this is the thing, we don't have this conversation. No one's ever going to ask Piers Morgan or put this question, ah, oh, do you think he would mind if his daughter brought home a white woman? It's, 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 never, it's never a conversation. It's never a thought. Never a thought. So for the simple fact that that is a conversation that he's probably had, you're racist, rude boy. You're racist. No, all I just said, you, you know, you know, you know, you, you, you know, on our page, on the cut that page, I think you've posted it, Damon. When they, when it, when you, when, and it, it hit home as well. When they think of black, they think of the blackest man. Like when they, when you say the royal, that Archie's black, that whoever put that picture of Michael Blackson, that's what they see, though. Do like, you get what I'm saying? That is what people see that don't know nothing. They see that man. Right, right. Just about speaks <laughs> English. You see, you see, you see Pete Morgan, yeah. Yes, he's a bully. Yeah, and and I think he's he's he loves power and and all of that stuff. And I think for me, yeah, this goes back to to one of my original points a little while ago. But this is the time once again for us all to move in the right in the in the same direction. Because you know what I noticed as well. You see us moving in the same direction. That doesn't necessarily mean that we all agree. It just means we all want to get there. We want to get there. We, we all have known for a very long time this man should not be on primetime TV. He shouldn't even be on TV. Like, he shouldn't be. Yeah? Like, he really shouldn't be. And I think, you know, there's that saying, I, I can't remember, I, re- I read it the other day, but, you know, it's basically pertaining to don't waste your time trying to trip up bad people because them man will trip themselves up. And this is exactly what's happened. This is exactly what's happened. You see one of them, listen. Nothing's going to happen to Piers Morgan. I'm letting you guys know this. Nothing will happen to him. He's going to get a Netflix documentary or he'll go back to America and do like, and Probably. do TV over there. Probably. Maybe so, but if that's the case, cool. Come off of my TV, innit? Come off of my TV in the morning. Come off it. I don't want to see you. No, he yeah. won't be able to go to BBC. Like, he spent his whole time at GMTV just like going at the BBC. So I know he's not, he won't be going over there. And so I can't imagine. I don't know. What, you know, what? I don't actually. I don't actually know. You know, I don't actually know if there is a place for him anymore. You know, you know because he's. Like, it's like that last part of that generation. That that's the generation we need to move up. Do you get what I'm saying? And and have some thought provoking people in there. Some people that are a bit more open minded because you can see he's got. He's just. He's just not on it. He's still like I said. He's still that Jeremy Clarkson era. You know, them man there are just over opinionated and they think they can say what they want and always get away with what they want. It's just not happening anymore. Sooner or later. We should be, they'll be eradicated, man. It'll be done. So I don't know where, where can you he go say that, yeah. what, what do do what on Netflix, though? Do what, like, do you? So, you I don't know, Piers Morgan, be bashing black people back. Go on, 
because he's he's done, he's done like um series on next. He, what did he do before? He did like the serial killers, and then he does like Piers Morgan's life stories. He'll do something like that, but maybe he'll do yeah, but something. Even the life stories, my man had bloody Gemma Collins on there. Blood, who cares about Gemma Collins, bro? Do you get what I'm saying, bro? Come, bro. I was watch. I was like, how did she get on that? Yes, really? Bro. But I, maybe maybe I'm out. Of the, maybe I'm out of the clue. Maybe she is this big superstar, but Gemma Collins. But one thing we all, one thing we all we also have to remember here yeah, is like we are all here. Like even everybody that's in the chat, everybody that listens to this, all of us, we have similar frames of mind. Like like we think a lot very similar. Yeah, there is yeah, a massive, saying, yeah. massive, 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 yeah. a big group of people that are down for peers that will support him, support everything he says, that agree with him. That will follow him wherever he goes. Like, don't get it twisted. Yes, like we're like we're happy that he's been sacked, but there are some people that are pissed. Maybe more people are pissed than are happy, and that's something to think about. Oh well, look yeah, at Trump, I mean, bro. <laughs> Trump just here's my here's my little yeah, violin that... for those people that are pissed. The tiny little violin. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ace, you're absolutely right. And remember, you know, it wasn't too long ago that. A, a large majority of the country voted for Brexit, and a lot of exactly. those people, a lot of those people are cutting right now. Exactly, they are, a lot of those people, yeah, a lot of farmers and a lot of people are cutting right now. Yeah, so hopefully people just. I don't, you're right. He has got a lot, uh, a hell of, but so was Katie Hopkins. Katie Hopkins got a, a, a huge following. Fair people love her, and and that's the thing. Like, who's Morgan going to be fine? Huh? He's going to be fine. He will, he will, well, what, yeah, I suppose, yeah, I suppose the reality is, yeah, he is going to be fine, but, you know. Did Piers Morgan ever make comments about Prince Andrew? Ever? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's so crazy how, this is what I'm saying, it's so crazy how you could be so fixated on someone's colour and not, now not the fact that they're... they're Do you know what, Do you know what? Me, I like that, because that was one of the things I wanted to raise. This is a very good point. What, I think what we haven't touched on yet is you see the level of anger towards Meghan Markle for this interview for a couple of reasons. One, because apparently what bad timing that you've done this interview when Prince Philip is in hospital. Yeah. Oh, so how get the dare timing, they, man. How dare yeah, yeah. you do that? Yeah. But what, what, what people raised over the last couple of days, which was a good point, which was Look at the amount of energy that you lot have. Look at the amount of energy that you're putting into being mm. angry at Meghan Markle for even trying to talk about the royal family. But none of you lot have this same energy about the claims that she's making. None of you lot have the same energy about racism. None of you have the same energy about racism or about mental well-being. You, man, are so blinded by your rage for this black woman that you're not even you're, you're not even entertaining nothing else and that ace is one of the reasons why i look at man and be like yeah fam, you're fully racist you can't chat to me fully fully racist like there's serious issues and as you quite rightly said earlier on this podcast ace is that even if megan markle is lying we have seen the media that Piers Brosnan played a huge part. James Bond. 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 James Bond. Brosnan. James Bond. <laughs> Bond? No. Say what? But James Bond. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, we've seen we've seen the media <laughs> that Piers Morgan plays a huge part in weeks after weeks after weeks after weeks just attack Meghan Markle, attack her, and and a lot of it has been racial, and he's backing it. He's backing it. He, Fam, he's back in them papers. Nah, you can nah, you can't tell me that. Do you know, you do you know, how, do you know what? I'm Wait. definitely gonna take this part of the podcast, but I, I wanna say this. Do you remember like I was thinking about Camilla in relation to ha- Camilla Parker Bowles? Yeah, in relation if you think about what she did, she was sleeping with a man, <laughs> the heir to the throne. He was married, mm. she was deciding mm. mm. and Diana died, and they were like, "Yeah, man, just come in, come in, just come be part of the family. Like it's it's blessed, man. It's right. Just come. In. I know, innit? Like it's fine. Yeah, like 
I know you're sleeping with a half married man and like you broke up their marriage and just come in. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool. But Meghan Markle is just not even allowed to be a quarter black <laughs> or half black. That's it. That's see, that's her what, crime. See what you that said. Uh-huh. Oh, 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 Charles is Charles. Charles is taking this opportunity to kind of vent back in it because he knows that's not his you. That's what I'm saying. That's uh, what see, I'm, saying. I'm definitely taking all of this stuff out of the book. Ch- Charles, Charles is thinking that <laughs> ain't even my you to bum the whole hole. Fuck that man. That was huh? Lee Vassell. He lives in Hackney with the bad <laughs> Wi Fi. When the <laughs> when the royal family Wi-Fi come and jump off your team. Wi-Fi nah, uh, yeah, it's 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 sad. It's sad, but it's it's it just shows you, you know, what's really going on. And I I, I rate them both. I rate them both for for for. For doing that interview, even certain people like I'm watching the news today, and I was like talking to people on road about the interview. And they're like, "Oh, look, they're complaining about what they want all of this privacy, but they came and done an interview, and they're gonna make all of this money." This is like it's that small-minded attitude. It's that small-minded, just, just <laughs> like take someone take another screen screen capture. Of I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree, I agree. What is going on? What's going on? What is going on with it? Yeah, yeah, we've done an hour on this now. I'm tired. It's fine. Bro. We, didn't even, we didn't even get onto loose women and Charlene White and casual Let's racism. Let's get onto it quickly, bro. Nah, someone I, I, complained, bro. Someone <laughs> complained that the podcasts are too long. So just c- come too on. Long. We've got things to talk about, fam. Let's talk. Loose women. Go. No, what I, I mean, what are you talking about the, the casually racist thing? Yeah, like. <laughs> 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 oh, yes, there's sometimes there's older people in your family they're just casually racist. <laughs> no, no, but do you know what the worst thing is? How do you I see that to a black woman in her face and you looked in her face and said, Yeah, this is casually? <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my, oh my god, Damon's gone frozen now as well. Is he back? Yeah, that to me was hilarious. Now I'm I'm doing the podcast on my own because Damon's frozen and it's just me. So the, the chat will need to talk. Am I? Are you back? You're back. You're back. You're back now. You're back. You're back. Well, yeah. I'm back. You yeah, need the one that freeze. Oh, did I freeze? Yes. Oh, I thought it was you. So go on. No, bro. Um, but everything. Uh, oh, it might be me. It might be oh. my Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, it might be my Wi-Fi. My bad. My bad. Um. Yeah, I I I understand what she what she means though. The saddest thing is, I kind of did as well. Yeah. I like kind of did as well. Like I, 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 I said it to Ash. I, I get it. I understand. I think she it. used the wrong terminology. Though. I think you can't say if something is ra- racist, is racist, is racist, isn't it? You can't say something is casually racist. Ra- if it's casually racist, it's racist. What I think she meant to say was like, for instance, I'll tell you a story. So like, I had a, I had a white friend when I was going when I was growing up. Yeah. I won't say his name. Oh, <laughs> I had a just white one, friend yeah? in school. Just we, I, I just have a quick one. We went to his house, yeah? And um, I think we had dinner with his family. And I think his granddad referred to one of us, the mandem, as coloured. But it was like, we were busting bear joint before then. We was having a good shot. Like, and it was it just came out. And I know it didn't come from malice or like, or even racism, I just felt like it was just, it was an old school mentality. It was an old school word. That's how he referred to black people. But I don't necessarily think that is, that's not even casually racist to me. That's just like, uh, you don't know no better. You haven't moved, you haven't moved on with the times. Okay. 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 Uh, Would you have taken offense? Please back. Bro, say that again? Would I have taken offense? Yeah. Uh, well, I, you know, if there's no malice in it and, it and it's just ignorance or whatever else, I probably wouldn't have taken offence. Like, I, I probably wouldn't have. But I, but then I think whoever that lady was on, on Loose Women that made that comment, I think that's... Maybe that shows how often racial things are said within families that are just... That's just it, they don't... You, there's a lot of things that people do that are racist that they don't see as racist. Yeah. There's a of hell of a lot of things of that, they do that they don't see as racist. Do you know what I mean? Or or or, or offending people, you know. And um, I was talking to a couple guys today and I was saying to them, like, I can turn around and say, I don't like Nigerians. That doesn't mean I'm racist. 
I just don't like Nigerians. If I start, if I turn around and be like, oh, you know, like when you're forever just banging on it, man, banging on, oh, Nigerians are this, Nigerians are that, Nigerians are this, Nigerians are that. Boy, all right. Now we've got a problem. Now we've got a problem. Oh. Is Lee gone again? No, he just took his camera off. Um, yeah. I, I, I can... Hey, I, Lee, can you hear me? He's gone. I was going to say, I can imagine, like, Lee might get a lot of that rhetoric from, like, the older cabbies. Where they're not necessarily... They might not necessarily be racist, but they just use old school lingo that is that shouldn't fly anymore. Yeah. Again, do, do we let that go though? Should we do we let that go though or not? No, we shouldn't. We shouldn't let that go. We shouldn't let that go. Why? Why? Why let it go? And the, okay, this is the thing. Yeah, if you're gonna keep that within your family setting, yeah, or within your close circle, so that doesn't get out. Yeah, so people are coming to your house and being exposed to that. People are coming to your house and possibly being offended by what your, your granddad or your grandma says. And when they do say it, you're like, granddad, you know you can't say that. Mm. And more often than not, granddad's going to be like, yeah, but you know what I mean. Okay, yeah, but you can't say that. Mm. Uh, don't come into my house and tell me what I can and can't say. So you know he, there's no malice in it. But if you keep that there, then cool. But once he steps out to the wider world and he starts behaving like that, that's a problem. Mm. That's a very, very, very big problem. You know, um, but I, but if they can be told to fix up, yeah, they should be told to fix up blatantly because you know what it is. They, those are the kind of things that our children will hear when they're growing up and think that's okay and be running up and down in school saying stuff that granny and granddad said, thinking that it's okay because no one checked them. So nah, yeah, they 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 should be pulled up. They really should be. They really should be pulled up. Absolutely. But ca casually racist is not the term for them. Or do you agree with the, that? What is the term? I don't know what I, the term I, is. I, I'm asking you if you do think that. Do you think that is casually racist? Because to me, casually racist means, means that, like, it. yeah, no, casual. To, like the term casually racist to me means that, like, you're racist and you just don't care about it. <laughs> like, I'm just like, <laughs> that's what that's what casually. Like, if I'm just casually racist, it's just like I'm just casual. Like, I'm yeah, I'm racist, cash. It's like, yeah. like it is yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah, what yeah, casually yeah. racist means to me. So I feel like yeah. that's the wrong term. I feel like that's the wrong yeah. term. I, even if she said, "Are oh, accidentally racist," that that would mean that makes more sense than you can't be casually Maybe. racist. Maybe. Like, I can't casually kill you. Do you know what I mean? You're either dead or you're not. Like I'm either murdered you or not. I can't casually murder you. It's like it's yeah, but that's the murder. Though. That's extreme because you can't take that back. You yeah, but some people race racism is racism. Like, if you're racist, yeah. you're racist. So I don't think you can be okay. But I don't know, yeah, man. Right. Well, this is this is the thing because we've had this argument before with various different topics. See, you're a murderer. You see, if you murder somebody, yeah, you're a murderer, and you're forever going to be a murderer. See, if you was a crackhead in '92, but you, you're not a crackhead now, are you still a crackhead? And if you've murdered somebody, you're always going to be a murderer, irrespective of... Yeah, but alcoholics are always alcoholics. No, they're not. Yeah, even if you've recovered, you're recovering. You're like, I'm an alcoholic. They don't say, they don't say that. Oh, I'm a recovering... No, you say I'm... No, they alcoholics always keep the alcoholic. They say I'm an alcoholic. Do they? Do they not? Someone, someone in the chat, let's come up, please. I what feel like if you're an alcoholic, you're, an, you're alcoholic forever. Because you, I mean, you're always... No. Because if you do, if you start drinking again, you've fallen off the wagon. Okay, so so what does that say? Hey, just be quiet. <laughs> what did she say? She said, no, nah, I'm chatting shit, basically. <laughs> I think you are chatting shit. So I basically, think you are chatting shit. No, because you know what? You know why that, that can't be true? Because if I'm an alcoholic, this is I'm an alcoholic today, yeah? Yeah. What, tomorrow? Because I haven't drinking, I'm not an alcoholic no more. No, because remember... So when am I not an alcoholic then? Because these things are, addi are an addiction. So you're always going to want to have a drink. Yeah, you're always going to want to have a drink. So let's say you, you haven't... Let's say you was an alcoholic and you haven't touched alcohol for five years. Mm -hmm. And then you go and have one shot of alcohol. You're not an alcoholic now. You're not a back, back on the alcoholic thing. Yeah, but you'd be like, look, I can only have one shot because I'm an alcoholic. 
No, because no, because you, no, because you have an addiction. Wait, they call them functioning alcoholics, apparently from Trevor. No, they don't call them right? functioning. No, no, a functioning alcoholic. No, lad. A functioning alcoholic is Lee, basically. The, the yes. that can't get his Wi-Fi together. Yeah, uh, he's a functioning. We need to get Lee to come back so we can discuss wait. coming to America. Wait, uh, wait. Do they really call them functioning? I, I'm, I'm sure they don't. I'm sure they don't. I'm no, sure I'm, you know, you're right. Because if I was if I was an alcoholic when I was 19 and I'm now 42 and I haven't drink drank in 20 years, you're not I'm alcoholic. not calling myself I'm not calling myself an alcoholic anymore. Well, no, you're not. Yeah, you're and right. Recovering, recovering. See, that's see, is it recovering alcohol? No, but even then, I don't think so. Someone just go, I don't know, Google it. I don't know. Oh, people tell me I'm wrong. You it's are team. wrong. Yeah, I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. It's fine. You are wrong. Like. That's the thing. That's the thing with racism. You, you, you can unlearn it. Yeah, because you know you can unlearn it. You learn it and you unlearn it. You're not born racist. It's talk, and 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 you you can unlearn racism. You know, um, and I think there is a there is a fine line between prejudice and, and racist. Um, but obviously, at the root of it is just whatever you're doing and saying behind it is a hatred for that set of people do you know what I mean mm. um, and I, I you know I do I do look at I do look at Piers Morgan and I think you see like when he's looking at man like Stormzy and man like Giggs and man like Gets and shit I know you had an issue at, with like the whole big nasty thing when he was doing the, you felt like Piers was kind of mocking him remember, wow. I, remember you, I remember you really hated that you didn't like the, when big nasty was doing the weather no oh, bro because I thought because yeah. you, you, you Fam, that really upset me about Big Nasty. Bro. That really upset me. I remember, I remember that was bothering you. That was proper irking you. I never even understood why. <laughs> Fam, because the reality is, yeah, them managers look at us as dancing monkeys still. Mm. And every now and then they let us come on their little platform and do some jiggery boo nonsense, yeah, that gets everybody imitating. You remember that man that was dancing on, 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 on the... On the you remember? On the news. Huh? What, to the, on the news, he's talking about. Yeah, you remember on that? PC News, he's dancing to yes. the Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? People diss him, bro. He's a he's a dancer, in it. Like, what do you want him to do? What do you want... if he's a bro. dancer? He's a dancer, in it, bro. What I want him to do, yeah, is remember what I said to Femi a few years ago. Is you see, before you sign that contract, take a check it up. How wait? How is that making my people look? I dress back real quick. Wait, why did that make it like he decided to do a backflip to the BBC news theme? That's his fault. That's nothing to do with us. Bro, that's not is, like, is, that's, that's is, nothing to do with us. It is. I'm blaming Femi because Femi should have put him in his film and given him some pee so that he didn't have to go and do that. And also, like, we are creative people, in it. So, like, I've seen we've seen people dance into the Netflix rhythm. We've seen people like we we like we dance in it. That's what we On do. On the BBC. <laughs> On the BBC. Why does that matter? Let's move on, Ace. <laughs> I wanted to talk about coming to America, but you ain't seen it, and Lee's not oh, here. Talk to me, because give me your views. Because to be fair, I'm not. I, I know I hadn't seen it by now because obviously I had other pressing issues. But let's let's, let's... you know what? All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be fair <laughs> because there are really bad films that I like. That are, that are funny, but are shit films. Like, I was listening to a podcast earlier, and they was wheeling off film. Like, for instance, like Friday after next, they were talking about that is a shit film, but it's funny. Okay, Soul Plane, Paper I, Soldiers. Okay, they're funny films, but they're shit. Okay, and unfortunately. Coming to America. <laughs> is it funny? That's the thing. It actually is right. not funny. Let me let me show you what I enjoyed about it before we talk about what I hated about it. I think mm. all the throwbacks, the nostalgia was amazing. Like they managed mm. to get everyone in it. I'm talking about remember the twins that that that, that um Yeah, in the club. In, in the, the club. club. The twins come back. They got fucking, they got everyone. Everyone's in the film. Like the only people that are not in the film is his mum who passed away. Uh, rest in peace. Yeah. And 
who was part someone else passed away. But yeah, like they got when I say there's throwbacks, so many throwbacks to this film, to the original film. It's great for nostalgia. You're like, oh yeah, they, they smashed it by getting that. And you might, you just so many Easter eggs. The comedy just wasn't there, bro. There's just, it's just not there. And they felt like we we're going to get an all-star comedy lineup. Leslie Jones and Tracy Morgan and like and Michael Blackson, like all of these comedians. And you think, yeah, that's going to be that. Like, it's going to be fun. And it's just, the comedy is just not there. And this is going to sound like a really weird thing to say. The film don't have enough Eddie in it. Okay. Even though he's in the whole film, he's, it's his, the film's about him still, but it's almost like Eddie went out of his way to try and pass the baton, try and pass the torch and give everybody else the comedy. And they're just not, Eddie, they're not you, bro. You needed to, like, it just wasn't good, man. It just wasn't good. They would have been better off doing some kind of reunion or some documentary about the make. I don't know. But this, I laughed one time. Right. Everyone in. I've spoken to has said that they've laughed one time and it was at, it was when Eddie was doing some dancing. Randy was, yeah, yeah. Randy, I don't know when Randy, Watt, Jackson, Randy Watson, the sexual chocolate. Right at the end. Oh, yeah. And obviously sexual drugs are old now. And that's yeah. it. And then it's just like, it's bare weird cameos. Mm. Like Rick Ross, uh, Gladys Knight. It's just weird. Morgan Freeman. It's just mad. It's, I, mm. it's a very strange film. And then like me and Femi were talking about it on Sunday. On the phone, obviously. That <laughs> <laughs> and... If you if you watch, especially at Femi as a filmmaker, and I notice this, I'm not even a filmmaker. I feel like halfway through the film, they just change the direction. So you feel like the film's going somewhere, yeah? You're like, okay, this is what's going to happen. And then all of a sudden, they just change their mind with the storyline. It's not good, man. It's not good. I loved seeing everybody on screen. I love seeing black people on screen. I love seeing... That. Also, like, the film's called Coming to America. It's about five minutes of it's in America. It's not in America. The whole film's in Africa, bro. <laughs> it's just like, bro. Even the barbershop scene. You, the barber, You know the barbershop. The iconic barbershop scene in yeah. the first. They try and they try and recreate that. They use the same characters. Yeah. It's not funny, man. It's just not funny. It's not funny. Ah, uh, it's really sad. I'm sorry. Like we waited for this film a long time, and it's dead. One thing as well. Sorry, I'm gonna keep ranting. Like. I almost feel like they took the piss out of us as well. There's a scene in the film here yeah, where they're talking about the fact that they shouldn't make sequels. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, so they, like they're talking, like there's a, like a scene or like where um, Eddie's son, uh, Akeem's son and uh, his love interest are walking through a park and they're just talking about films and how they should never make sequels because the sequels are never good, as good as they And it's like, okay, so are you literally taking the piss out of us? Because you're making us watch the sequel that is shit. And you're talking about how this, like, you're okay. Like, yeah. Me and Michaela watched it. We looked at each other like, this is dead. This is absolutely a travesty. And then I had to interview Wesley Snipes the day after. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what? Wesley was probably one of the best characters in the film. Wesley actually is quite funny in it. Okay. Have you worked out why Wesley done the interview with you that he done? I don't know. I don't know if I have no idea. Uh, so uh, people are asking for my promo. Did you see my promo box? Your what? My promo box. What's that? All right. Can you wait there? Can I go and get it? Can you entertain them for like four seconds? Entertain who? These people? Right, hold on one second. So, <laughs> you go. Um, yeah. Shout out to the people that I'm, did you not hear me that? Did, could you hear that? No, obviously oh, okay. you yourself, but we uh, the same. people at the people at Amazon sent me a, a coming to America kit. You're sick. Okay. You're sick. I'm gonna show you what they bought, they gave me. Okay. What you got? Yeah. Uh, that's and to be fair, that's the best thing about the movie is what I got in the post okay. the day after. <laughs> but yeah, man, Eddie shouldn't have done that, man. It was it. Was, uh, I don't know. Where's Lee? I want Lee because Lee's the comedy, the comedy man. We need to talk to Lee about it. I'm sure Lee would have been disappointed. You have to watch it though, you know. No, I'm gonna watch it. No, I you have to. I might watch it tonight. I have, like, no, I, obviously I have to watch it. I definitely have to watch it. I'm probably gonna watch it tonight. 
ain't even got no ice cream. I have to hit the road and get some ice cream for that because I know I'm going to need something to keep me awake watching that film there. Yes, so, uh, the good people out the raw. Okay. I should turn the camera around and show. <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Mind yourself, Ace. Yeah, Mind yourself. Yeah, so they sent me this. Okay. Yeah. And in my coming to America pack. Little shampoo thing. Yeah. What? Is that for shampoo? No, it's for cocktails, you monkey. Oh, is this for, I thought this was shampoo. Wow. It's for making cocktails. I've seen this in the barbershop though before. No, you haven't. Oh, sorry. Oh, no, I thought it had a thing on the top of it. It didn't. Sorry. All right. That. Um... <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> I feel cool. <laughs> um, merch there. Um, oh, this is the, what's this for? I, I, I don't know. What is it? It says twist it up. You sure you're a barber, bruv? Is, Wait, this is the that black, your hair? Is that what's my hair? Is this a new? This is the new thing, bruv. You need to get into this, bruv. This is the new thing. You your beard, and you're gonna call me to tell me to come around and cut that off of your beard. Shall I use it on the beard? So it'll work. Go on. Right, this get is a live beard. demonstration, guys. Get that. Get that tangled up in your beard. Go on. What I do? What do I, how do I do it though? Yeah, like that. All right. Nah, that don't work. That don't work. Yeah, is my beard looking luxurious? No. no okay. <laughs> um. Some. Go big. Come into America, go big. Put that down. What is that? Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, pack of cards. They knew me. Ace, done now. Okay, yeah. Um, some some um, nail clippers and that. All right, all right, all right. Cool, we see you, lad. We see you. Some matches. And this, right. a bevel razor. Oh, is that what you asked me about the other yeah. day? Okay. No, it's, it's a decent little gift box. Go on. It's a decent little gift box. Can't knock it. That's it. Oh, oh and an Amazon voucher. All right, can't knock it. Wow. I just sorry. trashed their film. That's so bad, isn't it? I hope you don't see this. But hey, next time make better films, innit? I don't think they're gonna watch this, bro. Oh, they don't. I don't. I don't. Mm. I don't think they're gonna watch this. Man said. Oh, man said that that thing was a, is is a, is a fly swap. It's a, it's to kill flies. Nah, ain't it? Ain't it? <laughs> no, look. It's got it's got pictures of it of black men with their hair. Can you see that? It but, says, it's up. And they and they're flies on their face. That's it. All right, listen, we've done an hour 20 and we've dissed um, Morgan, Pierce Morgan, not Pierce Brosnan, um, and Coming to America 2. It's not even called Coming to America 2, it's called Coming to America. Coming to America. Yeah. Well, okay. Um, yeah. should, I run, should, I, should I run this relationship corner, Ace? Go to. Uh, um, there's been a couple, to be fair. I'd say it's a tennis racket, you know. Um, so basically, um, you know what? Yeah, we should. Yeah, cool. It, it's it, it, it's what we've been talking about. Um, interracial relationship. Hold on, let me get it. So before you do that, can we just salute a man like Jon Snow? Bad boy. That's all I'm going to say. Wow. <laughs> How old is he? 74? 74, bruv. Just had his first kid with his wife. His beautiful black wife. Beautiful black princess. Whoa. Beautiful black princess. No? Don't do that. All right, sir. Don't do that. Secondly, let the people know that we're talking about Jon Snow from Ch- Channel 4 News. Nah, not, not Game of Thrones. Not, not, not Game not of Thrones. Not Thrones. the King of the North. Not the King of the, the North. Re- yeah, no, the no. real... The real John Snow. Do you know, did I tell you that me and John Snow did the um, driver's speed awareness course together? <laughs> what are you talking about? On my on my mum's life, I've walked in to do my speed. I did. I got caught doing twenty four in a twenty. 
they send you um they you can either get take the points or you can do the speed awareness course i chose to do the speed awareness course in angel walked in john snow was sitting right there yeah he did it as well he was doing it as well you know he, what you know what, what 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 speed he was doing i don't know what speed he was doing but do you know what's so funny about it cuz he's john snow the whole class was just like Anytime he said something, everybody was just listening to him like he was teaching a class. Because he's, he's Jon Snow, in it? Yeah, of me and Jon Snow did our speed awareness course together. Of course he is. Man like Jon Snow, you know? Done, though. Of course. 100%. Yeah. What? How old is his wife? Do you know how old his wife is? Nah. I know she's not 74, though. <laughs> <laughs> we I hope know not. she's not 74. <laughs> We hope not. But we don't know because black don't crack, bro. She could be 74, bro. Yeah, she could just be a, right. you know what I mean? She just could be yeah. a young looking 74 year old. You're, you're absolutely right. Beautiful black princess. So, all right, so, okay, all right, interracial relationship, go for it. Okay, yeah. So, um, yeah, interracial relationship. The woman is black, the guy is white. Um, the woman's black, the guy is white. Dated for about six months and basically her family keep on making jokes. Her, they're saying his wife is 46. Um, oh, really? Her family, yeah. Okay. Her family keep on making jokes. Yeah. Sorry, now, who's black and who's white? She's black, he's white. The family keep on making jokes, like casually racist jokes. <laughs> Yeah, but black people can't be racist. <laughs> right, but but the thing is, Are black people yeah. be racist. No, <laughs> by no, the, the true definition of racism: we can't be racist. So then, so then he's, just got hold, so he's just got to hold that. Then he's just got right. hold it. This is the this is the thing. So her argument is: ah, oh, it's only banter, and it's only banter, and it's only banter. He's uncomfortable about it. He's flipped the team, saying if this was the other way round. You lot would have drawn the race card. It can't what be the other way around. Yeah, but his argument is he's uncomfortable at it. What she said is it's only banter. It's only banter. She put it to her family and said, yo, allow it because it's causing problems. The family said the same thing. It's only banter. We're just fucking around. And to be honest with you, we're just using this opportunity to bust jokes and not really make you feel uncomfortable, but it's just banter, in it? Now... <laughs> Now, what it is, is it's the argument. Well, what, what is the argument? Part of the argument is. <sighs> I like this. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's <laughs> making me laugh. <laughs> it's stop because, it's, because it's making man feel uncomfortable. Mm. You know, what, what, to be fair, to be fair, what one, what one family member said was look, the reality is, yeah, we're not trying to force you to understand racism, but the fact that you can say something now and get us to stop this behavior understand that we're not even talking about this on a slavery level we're talking about this on just racism on a daily basis yeah so they're so it's almost like so he's like what are you trying to prove a point to me and they're like no nah, but just relax your skin kind of thing like just just hold it in it so, hey, can i speak now <laughs> go ahead. i think like I would want to know what the what the banter is that he's he's they're subjecting him to. If it's just like, oh, this is chicken, and we season our chicken, and you guys don't like. If it's just like dumb, like little things like that, fam, he's just gotta hold that. He's and yeah, also right. like, even let's just say he was black and he was short. That that seems like the kind of family that would get him about that. Or if he was like, do you know what I mean? Or like, just, right. like, just one of them families that. I know families that if you go in a house, you're going to get it about what you're wearing, whether you're black, it doesn't care what colour you are, what you're, wear, what you're wearing. Um, I don't know, like anything that, that pe- there's, there's families that just go at each other. That's just how they, that's how they show love in it. Like we're comfortable with you because that's why we can banter with you. So he's just got to hold it and it can't yeah. be reversed. I don't want to, I feel like for him to say, how would you feel if it was reversed? That would make me angry. Would you mean, how, would you mean what? What if your white family was telling me stuff about being black? Are you does that does that make any sense to you? How can that come out of your stupid mouth? What do you mean? Like, how can are you dumb? Like, are you stupid? It can't be reversed. It can't be reversed because you're white and I'm black. 
to your, I can't come to your family's house and they're dissing me about being black. It doesn't make sense. So I just think he's got to hold it. If he wants to be in this relationship, he's got to hold it. It's the end of it. And just, and learn how to banter back. It's that simple. Sorry. I, mean, I hope I mean, it's not no. somebody that you know and love, but like... No, 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 no. But you I can't mean, never turn around and say, oh, how would you feel if it was my... Are you dumb? If it I, was I, your I, family, we wouldn't be together, you dickhead. Like, how can I be... How can, how can I be with you and your family's being racist to me? Your white family? No way. No, absolutely no way. Absolutely... Sorry, I'm getting upset. <laughs> sorry. All right, lock off the thing. I'm going to kick over the computer, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Absolutely no way. No, no. No, I mean, I mean, look, there's people that are, that are basically saying, look, if he's upset with the banter, then they should just stop it based on him being upset with the banter. What is the banter? What is it? The banter, Why are they the saying is, is like what you said. It's just like, like when, they're, when they're doing up dinner, they're like, oh, we, like, so basically one of the jokes was they served him chicken, yeah, with rice. <laughs> I don't know, I'm laughing really. No, you know what I mean? <laughs> They serve you chicken and rice here, yeah? but then what they've done, they've taken a piece and washed it off under the yeah. <laughs> and then put it back on his plate and said, We know you don't like things too spicy. So. <laughs> See, that's funny. You gotta just hold that. You just gotta hold it. That is funny. I'm sorry, that is funny. <laughs> that is funny. Oh, I mean. Yeah, but that is I mean, funny. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. If I, do you know, if I was him, I'd be like, "Yeah, I, we don't like too so much seasoning. That's why yeah. you black people have got high blood pressure. Like, see, it's like you got to banter back, bro. Like, yeah, you got to yeah, just yeah, like yeah, give yeah, as good yeah. as you get, like something." I, I, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you because 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 one of the one of her sisters was like, basically, he's only coming with this energy. Because we're in the time of equal rights and equal justice and bloody bloody blah. Everyone's screaming it. But he's trying to scream it too with the same energy as if it was a racist situation. But I don't know if they're using that argument to carry on with the fuckery because it, like some of the stuff that they're doing is funny. I can't even lie. It is it is funny. Someone's someone's calling me a coon in the chat. I'm a BBC coon. Oh, we did this in August. Like, <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. Um. Anyway, have, have we got a black business corner? Ah, oh, forgot to get at them. All right, come on. We we know black businesses. We know black businesses. Come on, Ace. We know black businesses. We know black businesses. This is bad that we didn't organize this before. I can I can read off some, but they're they're all in south. Yeah. Why not? Go to. All right. All right. Anyone that's in the in the, in the South London area, even if you, well, you have to be in the South London area to touch this place. Make sure you stop by Yassa, Caribbean, hey, um, banging uh, food in the heart of Fort Neath. On that little strip there, there's so many Caribbean restaurants or takeaways. But Yassa, if I'm correct, is the owner of that. Is the owner of Delis, I think. Am I correct? Hello? Oh, yes. Let's, let's hope she's not going into labour. Um, oh, I've got yeah. another business. Oh, yeah, go on. Yeah, anyway. So I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm very sure. If I'm mistaken, then someone let me know and then it will, we will highlight Delhi's next week. But yes, a Caribbean restaurant in Fort Anif. The food is absolutely banging. Absolutely banging. So go check them out. That's um, also want to shout out to Sparkle and Shine mobile car wash at the moment, doing an amazing job. Go check her out on her uh, Instagram, Sparkle and Shine, Sparkle and Shine, yeah, Sparkle and Shine. There you go. Oh, mobile well, car wash. Yes, it was supposed to be you, I, but I did ask you to remind me. I did ask you to remind. I did say that my memory is crazy. Um, unless you want to, no, we can't even. We we'll do it next week. Um, we we'll do it next week. We we'll do it. Ola Kirby, we will do you next week. I'm sorry, I apologize. My sincere apology. Wait, anyone in North London, go yummy or Holloway. Tell them Damon sent you. Get a free napkin. Get a free napkin, you know. Tell them I sent you. I owe them P, so you might have to pay that for me. So go on, tell them. 
Um, anything else, Ace? Oh, Lee, Lee is apologised. He couldn't get back into the chat. And we don't know where Femi is. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, hopefully Femi is. I haven't heard from, from Ice for a little while, so... Yeah, go and find out. <laughs> Somebody just go upstairs, your baby's just on the bed like, hey, dad. That'd be you funny. That's how I came. I came on the stairs. On oh, the stairs, you did. That's something yeah. that I, I learned this weekend, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I landed on the stairs. You did, was born on the stairs? Yeah. Do you... Somebody, people are questioning my behaviour. Like, let me put this in a group, yeah. So, I, I, I threw out a question to some people. I had a little uh, a Zoom thing and I threw out a question to, to, to some people. It's like, what was that game? What was that game? Kahoot. Kahoot. You were playing Kahoot. And the question was, what did I do to hold a beating? Yeah. And the answers were, did I kick down the Christmas tree? Did I set fire to the carpet? Did I smash the dining room, the, 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 the front room table? What was the other one? Kick down the Christmas tree, set, set fire to the carpet. Uh, can't remember what the fourth one was. Can't remember what the fourth one was. I can't remember what. But the answer was all three. It was actually all four, whatever the answer, other answer was, yeah. And people are like, right, you was a bit of a bad breed, you. And I don't think I was. But I think I might have been. Because I, I, I held a beating quite often. Really? Yeah, I don't think a week passed that I didn't hold a beating. Yeah, that, that means you're, you were definitely a bad kid. I like I can remember every beating. And mm. I, probably, I probably, I don't think I had more than 10 beatings. I probably don't think I had more than five. What? Mm. So I, I remember every time I held up. No, I probably had about, probably about 10, but I don't, I don't like, it wasn't you like. You were holding entire life? Yeah, 100%. So you're telling me you held one beat in a year whilst you were a yeah, kid? Yeah, yeah, It was never oh, like, God. it was never weekly, 100%. 100 Like it was, I didn't get beaten often at all. And I remember the beatings, and every time I got beat, I deserve, I earned that beating. <laughs> I'm not saying I didn't earn my beating. I, every time I got beat, I earned it, and I only and I didn't I didn't get beaten often at all. What? One time I'm going to tell this story quickly before we go. One time, um, my mom sent me to the shop, and I spent her change. <laughs> <laughs> One time, I was sitting to the shop. I spent her change, and she was like, "Where's my change?" Because, I, and I was like, "I must have been about six or seven at the time." You know, back in the day, you go shop young, innit? Your mum would just let you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah I must yeah. about six or seven at the time. I was like, "Oh no, the man never gave me no change." She goes, "Are you sure?" I said, "Yeah, the man never gave me no change." <laughs> she goes, "Are you sure?" I said, "No, he never gave me no change." <laughs> but she goes, "I'm gonna go to the shop, you know," and I fully called her bluff. I didn't think she was gonna go. These times, she's in house clothes and slippers. I'm like, she ain't going nowhere. She went to the shop. The man told her exactly what I bought. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that beating was mad. You know what she beat me with? Like, <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> you know, you know, the curtains, like they, you know, like if you got curtains and then they hold, they, <laughs> they're held up with a, with a rope. They're like <laughs> held up to the side with a rope, but it's got like the tassels coming down. <laughs> She went Bruce Lee on man, fam. She was using them like nunchucks for you, boy. You know the whelps. You know when you have the whelps. Oh, <gasps> you know. Let me tell you how bad my mum beat me. Yeah, my mum beat me so bad that an hour later she came in and said sorry. Like, <laughs> she, she felt so. Hey, she's because it's embarrassment. You're, you came and spent a little thirty pence. Like she, hey, she went. That's the one beating I will never ever forget. Ever. Wow. I will never forget that beating. <laughs> Ever. Like she came, that she came, like that. You know the beating that sends you to sleep. So I went to. I remember like she beat me. I went sleep straight from the. I was. I went bed. And then when I woke up, she was sitting on the edge of my bed. Like yo, sorry, fam. <laughs> That's how I put. She was like sitting on the edge of my bed, just rubbing me down. Like yo, yo. <laughs> I went to town on you. Like she saw the whelps, boy. <laughs> Worst beating ever, <laughs> ever. I will never forget that beating ever, ever. To this, that, it haunts me to this day. 
That was the 80s and I still remember it now. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that, your mum was sitting on the end. I think what the worst part of that story is, yeah? So when she, sat, when she put on her shoes to go to the shop, yeah? I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, I'm just walking around the house like, she's got, I just know it's coming. I know it's coming. Because I can't call her and be like, no, my mom's like, like, I just got to go. You have to. I have to ride with it. So I know it's coming. I'm no like, I'm like four minutes away from licks. And then she just walked through the door, looked in my face, and I just knew it was on. And I was standing right by the window like an idiot. <laughs> grabbed the thing, started going in. <laughs> Let me see how how long she was she was beating me so much she was sweating. <laughs> she was sweating. Did, no wait, wait. How can my mum be sweating? <laughs> nah, nah. Hey, nah, this is triggering me, bruv. We have to go now. <laughs> she was sweat, bruv. She was sweating. Oh nah. my god. You think you think she's a sweet lady? She was wow. Anyway. Listen, was nah, your mum. After I, I look at her differently now. You have to. You have to. It's, it's mad. I look at her differently because I don't see that in her at all. That's why I get mad when she's so nice to her grandchildren. Oh, they didn't come here. When you used to, the way you beat me and I saw the evil side of you that day, they've never seen that. <laughs> anyway. Oh, she no, I see everyone best. in the chat laughing as well. You know, like evil, man. Seriously, she that beat. the best. Ah, oh, Ace's mum. Nah, we, we, we love Ace's mum <laughs> fully. Fully. Oh my that was, god. That was a lot. Do you think I should do you think I should beat my child? <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to say this, but I'm I'm really for beating. Not beating. <laughs> I, f- I feel like we use the word beating is wrong. I feel like we use the word beating wrong. I, no, I, I don't no. I no, because I feel like we think beating of, of what I just spoke about. I don't feel like people should do that to their children, no. Oh, oh, no, but that's, no. that's what, no, that is a beating. No, no, I don't feel like people should do that to their children, but I don't, I do feel, I do feel like a smack is not bad. I'm like, I'm, I feel like, and again, and even a beating, I feel like if a child does something like that, that's kind of warranted. Like, what? You, you stole, you lied, oh. you made me go to the shop, you've embarrassed hey. me in front of people. Like, that's four strikes. Like, yes, that deserves a beating. Well. Yeah, okay. do you know what I'm saying? So, but I do think that people should can discipline their kids you, with... You yeah. know what I... Like, I think to myself, yeah, I think... All right, what was the craziest thing you held a beating with? Yeah, that was it. That's that, the rope thing. Right, okay, so... Off the bat, yeah, one of the craziest things I held, I held a beating with... <laughs> right. <laughs> it just so happened... <laughs> Like one of the craziest things I held a beating with was the Uber call. Oh, sheesh, kebab. But that's a that's a salt. That's a that's GBH, bro. <laughs> now, now the thing is, yeah, I I now think to myself, what could I have done that got you so frustrated and so vexed that you? Because I know a lot of the time was uh, they just drawn for the closest thing. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, and I just think to myself. Like, what could my child do that just gets me so hot <laughs> that I have mm. to pick up either the kettle wire or, like, the, the hoover pole mm. and go to work on this you? I like, also think, like, it's mums as well, innit? Mom, especially with boys, they're just going to think a hand's not going to hurt them or, do you know what I mean? A slap's not going to hurt. So they're just thinking, like, yeah, I need... And also, like, it's tiring for them as well. <laughs> so they're like, yeah. so they need they need some assistance, whether it's a pole or some rope or a slipper. Yeah, yeah, I got a slipper a couple of times too. Yeah, of course, slipper mm. was a standard thing. Mm. Slipper was a slipper was a slipper was a standard thing, a very standard thing. Like, and 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 people are saying like, I can say there's more ways to skin a cat, and some people are like, no, we don't agree with beating. But I've seen some youths that need a beating, hundred percent, like need it, like. Taking away toys and all of that kind of no, no, work. no, it doesn't they work. Need they need a, they need, they need a box. On the mm. box. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, well, we'll see, we'll see what happens with the, with this little one, but boy. If you have a girl, you won't be her. 
No, I won't. I only hit eight I, should. I, only, I only hit eight for once. You think I should? Yeah. No, I should. No. The I way think I, I should. Do I've seen Aisha bad up kids here? Yeah. yeah. And I'm not going to name the kids because their parents might one day watch this podcast. And yeah, <laughs> we not, we might meet them one day. So, but the way I see her bad up kids, I'm like, nah, I feel I feel it for them. And so yeah, she, so I have to beat them. If she's like one of them people that. Like when the kids see she would they would just know. They just know here yeah, um, I need to stop ramping. I can actually I can imagine Aisha is like that. Like yeah. smiley, but when it's time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. She done she done stuff like that with Mika. <laughs> yeah, I've been under pressure. Um all right, yeah, well boy. Okay, no, we, did, we did hour forty five today. That was fun. With with just two of us as well. Yeah, there's two of us. Couple cameos from Lee. Yeah, there's two of us. Femi's just gone missing. Anyway, all right, guys, we'll be back next week. Is Rate, subscribe, comment. Is there anything to promote quickly? Is there anything Beautiful to Black Prince. I'm joking. Um, what's the to promote? Um, mm. nothing, 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 nothing. Okay, I think there is, and there always is when we come off. There's always that I would just talk about that. All right, cool, whatever. Just quickly, is there anything, anything in the group, people, anything that... We should but, be talking about that. We've missed. We've got like um, a minute. The delay. I know I'm tired. The delay. No, it's fine. I've still. I've got work to do. I'm gonna start recording in a minute. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you gonna edit this? Oh, shit. <laughs> We're getting a new producer, by the way. Big up to our new producer. She's gonna be editing the show from now on. Can I? Can I? Can I stick something on you, Ace, please? No. Um, my son and mom. Oh. He's deaf. My son's a month old. He's deaf. Old getting licks. Uh, yes. What? Child support. Not child support. Yeah. We need to call um child services for it. Double for blind or something. Um. Uh, Tash, you're not gonna. Well, you might have to come for your niece and nephew at some point, car boy. It could get deep. Hey, so I just want to stick something on you in front of all of the listeners. I'll cut the chat. Can you start finding time to start making some? Uh, mixes to put on Spotify, please. You can't put you can't put whole mixes on Spotify. SoundCloud, whatever it is. SoundCloud, I could do that. Whatever it is, I can do that. I can do that. Some R&B mixes, some whatever, please. No, everyone just listen to my show. It's banging, fam. Sunday nights, ten o'clock, right here on One Extra. Not right here, but we're not on One Extra, but on One Extra. Absolutely, and that's fantastic. That's that's (laughs) fantastic. But can you just start? I've got a plan. Anyway, yeah, that's a different story. I will talk about it. And yeah. um, yeah, man, June twenty first. Hopefully, after that, we'll have something to promote as well, man. Um, we got some ideas. We got some very good ideas. So yeah, salute. Yeah. Yeah. Um, guys, we love you, but we're gonna leave you now. Enjoy your evening. <laughs>